Yo guys, welcome to episode 19 of the Hardcore Iron Man series. And before we start today's episode, I want to make a very important announcement. So Jagex has officially announced the release day of Raids, and it will be coming out on the 5th. Raids will be the most difficult PVM challenge that Old School has to offer once it comes out. And of course, this Hardcore Iron Man isn't anywhere near the stats required to do something like that, so I won't be doing on that. But I do have a normal Iron Man that is more than capable of tackling something like that. So I will be making a return on my normal Iron Man just to make videos that is uh, mainly dedicated to raids. It's going to be like an episode type of thing. So for all my veteran viewers, rejoice because you're going to see episode 101 come back very soon. I don't plan on making like a full return yet just because I will be making a complete full return when my hardcore dies. But as for the raids, it will be at the very least a temporary return with maybe a few episodes. But anyways, enjoy today's episode. It's a good one, guys. So this is a 1,000 point crate, so let's go ahead and check it out. Ooh, nice. I got myself a Pyromancer hood. Okay, that's additional fire making experience, I guess. But yep, gonna reach 100 KC and I might not even see those last two magic logs. Whoa, whoa, I don't want to record too many Winter Todd stuff, but we got ourselves 65 fletching though. And at the same time, whoa, oh god damn, fire making levels be interrupted me. But as I was saying, managed to get myself 1,325 total, man. That is pretty damn good, guys. So guys, I've done 94 Winter Talk games now, and my fire making level 79, and it's higher than any of my comments stats. I guess this account is kind of skilling based, but. I will change that very soon, you know, once I uh, work on combat again. But anyways, I decided that I'm done with Winter Todd. I will not be doing it anymore just because I'm quite sick of it and I realized that it is a pretty dumb idea to try to get mage logs at my woodcutting level there. Perhaps if I was 75 plus woodcutting, you know, I would get it at a more reasonable rate. But despite all of this, Winter Todd was a pretty decent investment. I got quite a bit of, you know, good rewards all across various skills. I got some auras, I got some herbs, I got some seeds for farming and all that. Here we go guys, the first hunter level back on the grind, 44 hunter. This is going by really fast. So I am now at 50 hunter now, so 8 more to go, but this is pretty damn fast. I'm getting 40k an hour, and right now levels only take around you know 10k or so a level. Sweet, just hit 67 slayer. Luckily I got myself a hell in task, so the AFK is pretty good. So this is the last cabet I need guys because I am now 58 hunter. That is awesome. Here we go, now I can catch nature implings. Honestly, this grind was uh, quite fast. Literally was getting, at this point, over 50k an hour, you know, consistently doing it pretty chill. Wow, this is a really good start. I got a freaking hard clue for my first nature impling, man. That's sick. Yes! Oh yes, that took a while, but we finally got the two magic logs that I need for desert treasure. Oh baby, just from this alone, if you are not like Sony Plus woodcutting and you're trying to get magic logs specifically magic logs for desert treasure, do not do winter top for it because, as you can see, if you've seen the last episode, so definitely get Fifth Day Hunter if you're trying to get magic logs as quick as possible because this is many times faster than pretty much any other option really. Whoa, what in the world is this shit? That's crazy, man. That glitch, though. Three step easy clue for an elliptic impling. What do we get? Ooh, ooh. Damn, dude. Two mithril trim pieces, man. Except they're different variations, but cool, man. Two unique items right there. Okay, we're past 20 wilderness once again. God damn, bro. This is kind of dangerous. But uh, so far, so good. I don't see. Shit. Oh, I see somebody. Damn. That was close, bro. Okay, we got it. Oh my god, that wasn't even worth it, bro. This fucking clue told me to get a glory. Well, rest in peace. Totally forgot that I have one more skill requirement left for a desert treasure, and that was thieving. So, yep, just got 46. And finally, here it is, guys 53 thieving. So I stopped at 52 when I worked on Desert Treasure a bit already. I'm almost done at the thieving part. I thought I could boost, but yeah, I forgot you can't boost for it. So now let's finish this off. Oh, Jesus, almost ran out of lockpicks, but 
We got the Gilded Cross now, man. Ha! <laughs> what? Freaking just got 71 magic. Off of killing my last Desert Treasure boss. But yeah, that's really good. Anyways, as you can see, I managed to uh, set it up so that the monsters are stuck behind this rat. You know, there's plenty of ways to get it stuck, but honestly, I would not try to kill Demis unless I have something like this set up so that just in case a DC or anything, I should be fine because he's really lethal. And Desert Treasure is finally completed, man. What a long grind, guys, that was. Nice, good AFK going on, guys. 74 range. One more to go for 75, and then the range goal will be completed. Well, guys, I did manage to hit my range goal for fight caves, but right now it's finals week, so all I've been doing really is just studying and AFKing, so I guess I can just continue to AFK range, honestly. This is one of the best AFKs that I can do that is like really productive towards PVMing, so I guess we could bump it up to 80 range uh, goal or something. Back for some action, wrapped up on getting the last two food I need for the uh, final fight or recipe for the disaster. So yeah, let's turn in this last one here. And that's everything guys. It's time to do the final boss fight. So as you can see, Caramel has really shitty melee stats. She is barely hitting me. So yeah, just tank her and make sure it's a lot quicker because she won't freeze you as much. And that's it guys, recipe for disaster is finally completed on this hardcore Iron Man, woo! I mean the whole grind, you know, towards this was certainly a lot more challenging because of the hardcore factor. But yes, it is time to upgrade guys. I'm going straight from adamant gloves all the way to barrels gloves, oh yes. So now that I have this huge goal completed finally, let's talk about the next course of action. I've already mentioned the fire cape, so sometime soon I'll be going for the fire cape. But the first thing I want to do is uh, prioritize my time on doing barrels and slayer. So barrels, I want to get myself the tank legs and the tank helmet. I already got the body. So with that, I can uh, start preparing myself to go and camp Rex comfortably, Dagonoth Rex, for those rings and maybe a dragon axe. Hell yeah, man. 68 Slayer, guys. Still at this task. This task is very long, but really good AFK and XP. So now I can kill Spiritual Warriors. Great. So that means Spiritual Creatures task will be pretty viable at this point. So wouldn't mind doing them at all. Alright, just hit 77 hit points, guys. Really? I'm gonna get 76 range off of this Seraphim Wizard. And now I hope the result is, you know, something amazing instead of me having to like oh i gotta drop the clue so this is actually step number four so we got a decent chance of finishing it oh god this usually is gonna screw me up huh oh it didn't okay okay fifth step guys we got this this is crazy dude six step hard clue man and somehow i managed to make it all the way through luckily so this will be hard clue number two that i get to finish so let's just see what we get guys Yes! Oh yeah, baby! Black D high body. Oh. oh my goodness, guys. What a crazy upgrade. Plus 15 range. Yo, there's no way this is true, man. Okay, it is true, guys, because I just did it. I'm not even kidding you guys. Look at this. Yak high armor actually gives you more range bonus than green D high chaps. So I managed to get another hard clue. And this one's telling me to go to the fishing guild. That's infamous for, you know, the Rune Warhammer requirement. But the only requirement I don't have is the blue dehyde chaps. And luckily for me, I can get it off of electric emplings at 1 in 100. So I think I'm going to do it just because I'm itching to do some more clues and get some rewards. <gasps> yes! Oh, wow, dude. That took so long, guys. Honestly, over 200 elected implants for this. I was not expecting it to take so long, but that is done and over with, so I ain't complaining. Let's get out of here and start working on this hard clue a bit. Yo, this is gonna be a crazy thing if I actually can complete this clue. <laughs> here we go, what do we get? Oh my god! Dude, yes! 
That's crazy. And a magic shuffle too. Oh, that's insane, man. I upgraded my range legs three times today, essentially. The yak hide from the green, the blue dehyde from the green, and now the black dehyde from the blue. That is so nice, man. Well, that was so worth the effort, guys. Good thing I chose, you know, just to grind out the blue dehyde because this worked out amazingly. Magic Sharple is really nice too, and the Bandos page, I forgot to mention that. Cool, man, another God page. That's my second one so far on this account. Well, I'm totally amped that I have this now, so yeah, it's really nice. I got my long term range gear all done now, so awesome. Alright, guys, that's gonna be it for today's episode, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you guys enjoy today's episode. So, regarding RL stuff, I am almost done with the semester. I just have to do one more final on Monday, but yeah, it's already the weekend basically. All my other finals are done and Friday, so I will definitely try to get the fire cave in the next episode. Okay, at least have some attempts in there. So yeah, definitely look forward to that. So for those of you guys that are about to be on holiday, happy holidays, and I hope to see you guys soon with another video of amazing gains in a few days. Bye-bye.